assalamu alaikum friends today we will learn about the fourier series of square waves it can be defined as that function f of x is equal to 0 for pi is less than x is less than 0 and f of x is equal to some constant h for 0 is less than x is less than pi this is the graph of square waves if you look at this graph it is clear from this graph that the function f of x is 0 from minus pi to 0. Here f of x is also equal to 0 from minus pi to 0. And at this side the function is equal to h which is some constant from 0 to pi. And here it is also equal to h from 0 to pi. If we look at this graph, it is clear that this graph is neither symmetric about the y-axis nor it is symmetric about the origin. So, this given function is neither odd nor even. Therefore, we will have to find all the Fourier coefficients. Means, we have to find a0, an, and bn. First, we will find a naught and we know that a naught is equal to 1 over pi integration from minus pi to plus pi f of x dx. Now, it can be written as a naught is equal to 1 over pi integration from minus pi to 0 f of x dx plus 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi f of x dx. Now, we have to put the values of f of x. When the limits are from minus pi to 0, then this function is equal to 0. So, means f of x is equal to 0. And when the limits are from 0 to pi, then f of x is equal to h. So, here we have to put the value of f of x which is equal to h. After putting the values, we will get a naught is equal to 1 over pi integration from minus pi to 0, 0 dx. Here we have put it the value of f of x which is equal to 0 plus 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi h into dx. Here this whole term will become equal to 0 and we will get a naught is equal to 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi h dx. Now, we have to integrate this and we will get a naught is equal to 1 over pi into h and the integration of dx is x and the limits are from 0 to pi. Now, we have to put the upper limit and lower limit and after putting the limits, we will get 1 over pi into h and pi minus 0. So, this can be written as a naught is equal to 1 over pi h into pi. Here, this pi and this pi will cancel and we will get the value of a naught is equal to h. So, this is the value of a naught. Now, we have to find the value of a n and we know that a n is equal to 1 over pi integration from minus pi to f of x cos n x dx. Now, this can be written as a n is equal to 1 over pi integration from minus pi to 0 f of x cos n x dx plus 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi f of x cos n x dx. Now, we have to put the values of f of x. Here, the first term is equal to 0 because f of x is equal to 0 in this case from minus pi to 0. And here f of x is equal to h from 0 to pi. So, this can be written as a n is equal to 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi h cos n x dx. Now, 
we have to integrate this and we know that the integration of cos nx is sin nx over n. So, this can be written as a n is equal to h by pi into sin nx over n and the limits are from 0 to pi. Now, we have to put the upper limit and lower limit and we will get a n is equal to h by pi sin n pi minus sin 0 divided by n and we know that sin n pi is equal to 0 and sin 0 is also equal to 0. So, the value of a n is equal to 0. Now, we have to find the value of b n and we know that b n is equal to 1 over pi integration from minus pi to plus pi f of x sin nx dx. Now, this can be written as b n is equal to 1 over pi integration from minus pi to 0 f of x sin nx dx plus 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx. Now, we have to put the values of f of x and we know that the value of f of x is equal to 0 from minus pi to 0 and the value of f of x is equal to h from 0 to pi. So, after putting the values, we will get b n is equal to 1 over pi integration from minus pi to 0, 0 sin nx dx plus 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi h sin nx dx. Now, this term will become equal to 0 and we will get b n is equal to h by pi integration from 0 to pi sin nx dx. We know that the integration of sin is minus cos. So, we will get b n is equal to h by pi minus cos nx over n and the limits are from 0 to pi. Now, we have to put the upper limit and lower limit and we will get b n is equal to h by n pi minus cos n pi plus cos 0. Now, we know that cos 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, we will get b n is equal to 1 over n pi 1 minus cos n pi. This is the value of b n. Now, we know that the Fourier series is equal to f of x is equal to n r by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 up to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. Now, at this equation, we have to put the value of n r a n and b n. After putting the values of a naught, a n and b n, we will get f of x is equal to h by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 up to infinity 0 cos n x plus h by n pi 1 minus cos n pi into sin n x. Now, this can be written as f of x is equal to h by 2 plus h by pi summation n is equal to 1 up to infinity 1 minus cos n x over n sin n x. Now, if n is equal to 1, then this above equation will become equal to f of x is equal to h by 2 plus h by pi 2 sin x. The general form of this series can be written as f of x is equal to h by 2 plus 2 h over pi sin x plus 1 over 3 sin 3 x 1 over 5 sin 5 x plus so on. So, this is the required Fourier series of square wave. Thank you.